<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Okay, if you can see me and hear me, let me know. Um, if you're watching it on replay, let me know you were here. Hashtag replay. I have like an apron thing on because I do not have paint clothes on. And you guys know, <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't know why I do this to myself. Um, so I'm gonna start painting this piece. So I thought I would kind of show you, yesterday I was on here and I primed it. So now it is all ready for um, paint. When you prime a piece like this, um, or any piece, the it just kind of feels different than you know normally just like when there's no prime or it hasn't been sanded down. So I would say, say it feels like it's ready for paint. Um, yeah, so, and you can see it, it dried clear. You can't see the primer um, at all. So I am going to, so the color I'm gonna paint this is Grecian Clay by Wise Owl Paint. It's a really pretty, Grazy taupey green. <laughs> I just think it's, I've done a piece in this color before, a table, and I loved it so much. And with the brass hardware that I'm going to use, um, yes, so this is what we're gonna do. So, and I have my, so I, I just have some old towels underneath here. Um, again, it's the humidity here in Iowa right now is really bad, so, um, uh, so I can't paint outside. So we're just in my office. It's perfectly fine. I, I always have paper towels just in case, just in case. Um, this paintbrush is a little bit damp, but not wet by any means. Uh, but I always have a fine mist spray bottle with me as well when I am painting. This will be a game changer for you when you paint. It will get rid of brush strokes. A lot of chalk paint, there's there's so many kinds of chalk paint, chalk mineral paint, chalk synthesis paint, chalk paint, like all the all the chalks paints. <laughs> and sometimes they just get so thick and you will, that's why you will see a lot of um, brush strokes when you're painting and using a brush. So water will just help thin it out and kind of move the paint a little bit better. So, uh, so yeah. You could have kind of a damp brush to, I usually spray it. I kind of, I'll show you as I go along. Uh, but you just don't want to have obviously too much paint because then it's almost like you're staining because you'll water it down too much. But, oh my gosh, look at this color. <laughs> I will, when this live is over, I will leave a link for this color. Um, I can't do it now, but uh, I have to fill out the description and all that afterwards so I will definitely leave a link once this is over um oh my gosh <laughs> this is the fun part I mean finding the pieces is fun for me I love to hunt for pieces so that's definitely fun but when you get to just slap on some paint always use paint that's in your lid you are going to shake your paint obviously um if you stir it, there won't be any on the lid. But if you shake the paint, just those little cans, I usually just shake it. Use the paint that's on that lid. I've done so many smaller projects, just wood projects that I'm just painting, not necessarily a whole furniture piece, but just smaller wood um, projects, home decor or whatever, just with what paint was in on the lid. So definitely use that paint. Okay, so this is the fun part obviously putting a color the it's going to change this thing so much it's just this was a real red piece my mom is a fan of red um kind of red decorations and red my mom loves kind of red so but so i definitely this will just make this piece look totally different um I was planning on selling this piece. <laughs> As I put this color on, I'm like, oh, we'll see. It's once you put the color on and then it's actually, this is the fun part, but, and then you put the hardware on in the end, it's, 
it just all comes together. We actually, yesterday I was talking about our furniture flipping the course that we are putting together and I actually have a link to, oh, I don't like it when my thing does that, um, a link to give you guys so you can get on the wait list. So um, I will leave that link in the description as well. We are at the point where we're just kind of getting the final details put together and if you're on the wait list, we will be sharing it all here on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I talked about it kind of in stories today too, but uh, if you're on the wait list, you will definitely not miss it. We will send an email when everything's open and all of that. So email is the safest because we all know social media and the alg alg algorithms I don't like to show you everything. So, so yeah, so that link will be in the description of this video. And we are giving a free month of the creative squad with this first launch of the of the course, which is pretty exciting. So you will get a month, month of the creative squad for free after signing up for the course. And yeah, so I just saw a question here. I can see you guys now. Sometimes I just feel like I'm talking to myself because there's a lag. So I can't. So sometimes I'm just waiting for somebody to, so I can see people and know that I'm not just talking to myself. I'm using, it's called Grecian clay. Um, that's the color I'm using. But in, so inside the squad, we have all of our uh, guest painters and um, you will have access to everything that's been inside the squad since, since, since we started it um, for a full month for free. And so, um, so yeah, but like I said, I will leave a link for the wait list um, in this description once I'm totally done. And like I have said before, I do, I will be painting the drawers. So can you guys see this part? So I will be painting these sides. Excuse us. <laughs> I will be painting the sides and the, oh, you need more of those? Okay, grab, sorry guys. That's all right. Um, I will be painting the inside so when the drawers kind of go in, but this piece was in such good condition that um, that it doesn't really go in. Some pieces you get, the drawers aren't very great and you kind of have to fix them. So if you have any questions, now I can see you guys. So I see somebody from California. I'm just looking quick just to make sure. Mexico. What brand of brushes do I use? This is a zebra paint paint brush. I can give you, I can share that with you too. I love their brushes. I have also used the Klingon brush from, with Wise Owl. And I shared that in my last, I can't remember if I shared that in the last dresser that I did here live. That brush, I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not think I was going to like it at all. And I really like it. It's kind of got, it's kind of thicker um, and I didn't think I would like it at all, but I really like it. So that's another good one. Is my computer doing something crazy? I swear it just... <laughs> um, so I really like that brush as well. Uh, these angled brushes from uh, Zebra. Speaking of brushes, so I can talk about brushes for a while. <laughs> my computer's trying to do something. Um, brushes do not get the cheapest brush. If you're painting, I, if you're painting walls, if you're painting furniture, do not get the cheapest brush. When Matt and I first started this, not knowing anything and also being on a tight budget, we just always bought the cheapest brush. So when we bought our first house, we were, you know, repainting rooms and things. We bought the cheapest brush. Um, and I understand a budget and being on a tight budget, but you will spend so much extra money on, uh, because those brushes don't hold up and uh, they don't cover well. They're just, it's not good. So invest in a good paintbrush, um, one that's gonna clean well, and uh, you'll save so much time, money, and effort, tears. <laughs> Uh, just invest in good brushes. And so I really, I recommend those brushes that, uh, that I talked about because 
There's nothing worse. Those cheap brushes are not good. Uh, I have many times just starting out, I didn't, you know, when I was starting out flipping furniture, I was just using wall paint, right? So we would get paint for our first house and then I couldn't decorate like I wanted to. So I had to get creative. And so I would just find great pieces and I would paint them and I would use um, just what the wall paint that we had. I would then search through the, um, you know, in your, like when you go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards, they have the, it used to be called like mismatched or something paint section where people would come in and get a gallon of paint and then it wouldn't be right. So they'd take it back. What is that? <laughs> so they would take it back. And so then they would sell those for like a dollar, two dollars. I think now they're like five or $10 for a gallon of paint. Well, that's how I used to make paint. So if I wanted, um, you know, I would use what wall paint we had and then I would go to that mismatch section. And then I would, you know, if I wanted kind of a blue, I would look for a blue that I could maybe mix with what we already had. Um, like I said, paints have come a long way. So there's so many great paint brands for furniture um, projects and they're made for these projects. So I would definitely recommend those, those paint brands. But um, so, I guess what I'm saying is I totally understand a, a budget and you have to make do with what you do, but good paint brushes, you will not go wrong with good paint brushes. It, it will save you money in the end. So definitely, you don't need 15, just get a couple. So when I am doing small areas like this, I don't really have to thin out the paint. And right now this paint, it, it's good. Like I'm not having to thin it out much. It's kind of going on but I am gonna show you how I spray it. Um, I am gonna show you how I spray it and when I spray it. Um, okay, I'm just, hello, Elizabeth. The color, I know, the color's so good. <laughs> and, and you guys, I just have, well, I'm not gonna be able to show you this. I, I would say I have less than, oh, can you see that in there? Kind of less than half. Uh, of a can of paint here so you don't need these paints are made so well and if you've cleaned it and really primed it you're good to go like it doesn't you don't need a ton of paint that being said <laughs> all, all all pieces are different and gonna take um, a different amount of paint so so basically what I do and see this is a bigger area so when you are pulling or pushing paint so you're painting when you're pulling or pushing paint on a bigger surface like this, instead of, you know, just trim work here, it, you'll tend to, um, the paint kind of gets thick or it kind of dries out. So what you can do, always have one of these near you because I will work on a, a full piece and then it's towards the end, like I feel like it's drying out or it's just kind of getting harder to push. So just always have this on hand. So I just, can you guys see me? So I just literally, it's fine if it gets on there. Spray my paintbrush before I stick it in the can of paint and um, push the paint that way. Now, sometimes I will notice that it's if it's getting hard uh, to <clears throat> maneuver on here, you can definitely miss right on here. You don't wanna be close. You wanna pull away because you just want to mist that paint. You do not want to you do not want to soak the paint if that makes sense and when you're closer you're just going to soak you're just going to saturate that one area where misting it from further out it's going to kind of go all over so then it's going to be better to um, maneuver all over if that makes sense because if you just did it here this little area here is going to be great but then when you move all around here it's going to be giving you brush strokes and pull harder does that make sense <laughs> um so what else was I going to say with that? Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. Do not use just a regular spray bottle. Um, you want a fine mist spray bottle. They are very inexpensive. The ones that I have been rec recommending are under, I think they're under eight bucks. So, um, you, the, the regular spray bottles aren't going to give you that fine mist. Uh, you know what I mean? When they come out, it's either like a direct squirt. 
is that the right word? What, you know what I mean? The direct squirt, squirt or the spray, and it's just not that fine spray. So you definitely do not want um, just a regular spray bottle. And can you see my brush here? See how it's kind of spreading apart? Just adding a little bit of water will just help with that and just, just it just makes it go so much smoother. So it's just that little trick that you should you should always have. Um, what else was I going to say? Something about this. Oh, around the edges when you're painting furniture. So any edge. So here is an edge, here is an edge, back here is an edge, and here's an edge. So here I'm dead on and I can only see what's in front of me, right? So as I'm pushing paint across, you know, over here and I can't see, well, I'm sitting down now, but if I was standing, I could see. I can't see what's up here and what's here or here. Always drag your paintbrush around the edges. I, it's just a drag. It's not just because you won't have big clumps of paint on your edges, which definitely will happen. It's not the end of the world. You can sand them out. It's, it's fixable, but it's just more work. So it will just be, um, it will just be less work. Time is valuable. We can't get that back, right? <laughs> so any little tip that will help. So right here, I can just tell that I'm, I'm just kind of pushing that a little, too, it's taking too much effort. Um, and so I'm just, I just sprayed it a little bit and I can fill down, I forgot these little areas. I can fill these areas, but. <clears throat> For me in our house, I love I love pieces that have character, have some dings and bruises and uh, especially because usually the pieces in our home are um, older pieces. I'm finding these. And so uh, I like I like the dings and bruises on furniture. just adds more character. And then it's not so stuffy. The kids can. <laughs> you know, do whatever on them and I don't worry about it. Uh, so here at this point, I wish I could kind of, this is all drying. So I have one coat on here. Do you guys see how good this covers? I did prime it, but it's, it's covering really well. So here, um, sometimes, so I've got this side done and I've been using my paint so I don't have the strokes or a big chunks of paint, if that makes sense, thick paint. Um, but now I don't wanna touch this. I don't want to, even if I saw a big spot here that didn't get covered or like it just needs to be um, smoothed out or it's, don't touch it because you're gonna do more, uh, not harm. <laughs> but again, it's, it's one of those things where you're gonna have more work than you need. Just wait it out, wait till it's fully dry. You can go back in and, um, just a second, I'm trying to, sand between your coats uh which what you should do just with a real fine sander uh I'm trying to do this without so you get can you know if you had a glob of paint or something you can sand it out but if you were to move the paint or try to fix it when it's trying to dry you're going to make a bigger mess than you need to than you need so so just let it just let it dry fully and then go back in and sand or whatever um what else does anybody have any questions um i just see a little area here i didn't get right here i shared a reel this not this morning like around lunchtime um that shows the sander that i've with sharing and how it gets in with all the crevices. Uh, it's so good. Let me see. Yes. So quilt, quilt Grammy. Uh, I do. So she asked, do you recommend using the same print paint and primer? Yes. <laughs> in the ideal, I just do. You don't have to. Um, but you just know that that brand, you know, if you're using a certain paint color, paint brand, 
um, you just know that 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 they go together if that makes sense they just they're made to go together um, I do know a lot of people that use like the Zinser it's Zinser right uh, primer and then you know just use whatever paint they have which I mean you definitely can do that too I just if I were if if you're asking my recommendation I would say to go stick with the same brand so if you're sticking with if you're painting with wise all paint uh, wise owl primer dixie bell whatever it is uh that's worked well for me and so i would recommend that to anybody else especially just starting out because then you'd have no questions was it the primer maybe it was the paint maybe it was the paint over that primer you know what i'm saying so you're just you're kind of you have that peace of mind that wait these are supposed to go together <laughs> so it will work And these are the kind of, I mean, many, many more um, tips and help that we do inside that inside the creative squad. Uh, I, I created that squad and that group for people to have, you know, one on one access and just uh, I wanted to help them with their projects. And so it's just been a great way for me to be able to do that. And so that's why when we've been working on this course, uh, the team and I were talking about what else can we offer? And so, duh, let's offer a free month into the creative squad uh, for this, this uh, for the course because they go hand in hand kind of. So uh, you will be, if you, if you get the course, you will have so much, there's so many tips. And just the other day we had a guest in there. That is my foot behind the camera on this floor making weird noises. <laughs> I always need to say that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, we had somebody in there and I've been doing this for over 20 years. I have been flipping furniture, painting furniture, fixing furniture. And uh, she was in on Tuesday this week and she shared a tip. I'm like, what? Like, I've never even thought about that. So it's like, it's so, so fun for me because I, you get these little nuggets of information that it's like, oh my gosh, that would be so easy or that works like that. I'm going to do it that way. So I just, it's so much fun inside there. Uh, so yes. So will you do two coats? Yes. I, you probably can't see, but I can tell that, uh, it's kind of in some of it's drying. So it's some of it's the dry time. Definitely do not make a call about second coats or anything until it's fully dry but probably this will probably need two coats and between coats when this is fully dry take a 280 320 grit sandpaper and just lightly go over the paint you are not trying to strip paint get paint off you're just kind of going over the paint to smooth it all down um, if you do have brush strokes that'll help with that uh, the water though really helps so um so you'll just do a light sanding. Yes, it's chalk synthesis paint. Yes, it's wise owl paint. Um, so yes, okay, do you guys have, I have the top to do here, and then I have all the drawers, but I won't, I won't, I don't need to do all that here live. I just wanna answer questions if you have them. If you come on later uh, and have a question, obviously leave it there too. This is the, well, you can't see it. <laughs> It's Wise Owl paint. That's what I'm using. <clears throat> and it's kind of a, you guys can kind of tell, it's kind of a green. Uh, but then with the brass hardware, oh my gosh. It'll look, it'll look really good. Okay. Share this video if it's helpful. I would love to help more people. Um, but yeah, as I don't think there's any other questions. I think I got to them all. I'm just gonna put the first coat on the top and then I will put the first coat on the drawers and then I will let it sit. I'm, I won't touch it at all until it's fully dry and then I will come in and figure out if I'm going to, see like right now, can you guys, you can kind of see that where it's kind of darker and lighter. So obviously it's drying. If I came in there right now with a paintbrush and went over it, I'm gonna pull those lighter spots. You guys can see that, right? Well, and my shadow's not helping, but. 
I'm gonna pull those lighter spots and it's just gonna be a nightmare. So, um, and I always get people that at this stage, uh, especially if you're doing like a real light, like white paint over a really dark piece and you know, they'll paint their first coat and all you see, they're not brush strokes. It's just not covering because it needs more coats. And so don't get frustrated. Don't just throw in the towel. It just needs a couple uh, more coats. And so, uh, so that's all it needs. How long do I wait between coats? Like today we have an orthodontist appointment. I have to pick up groceries, practice and all that. I probably won't get into this until tomorrow. Um, all paints will give you different, all paint brands will kind of give you different, different suggestions. So I would definitely read your, your paint can and what they say. But, uh, if, if this was all I was working on in, you know, three or four hours, I would probably come back and, you know, make sure it's definitely dry. And then, and then I would start working on a second coat the, in projects like this, especially a small project like this. It doesn't have to take seven days. It does not have to take two weeks. Um, what's the minimum wait time, <laughs> Gina? Um, yeah, so the minimum wait time, it just depends on the, the paint brand you're using and like, it just depends. So definitely you just don't wanna go over it if, um, if it's still drying, you want it completely dry. And it's gonna depend on where you live, the climate, you know, like right now, if I have, if I was painting this outside, it would take six days to dry because the humidity is so, so, so bad. So, um, but yeah, it doesn't have to be a drawn out process. And there have been times when I've, I have a few pieces and I'm going to do them all. Like if I'm doing, um, I've got the white paint out and I think they will all be amazing in white. I, it's an assembly line type of thing. Uh, so you can work, you know, there are ways to make it so you're not having to drag out a piece for, for so long. That's a question. I, am, I I'm talking about that because I get that question a lot. Does it take long? No, it doesn't have to. Okay. The boys are playing basketball and yelling now, so I will not <laughs> make you listen to that, but let me know. Please share this video if it's helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will come back in and answer them, but I will get the first coat on the rest of this and talk to you guys later.